as we got to identical data sets now let us actually get into performing union operation between the two so in this case we want to get product ids sold in 2013 december and 2014 january but if you look at this data of order items 2013 december print of file you can see it has uh, all the details related to order items but we are interested only in product ids so now using this data i can apply map and get the product ids and then i can perform the union operation so i am saying products 2013 december equal to dot map lambda p int of p dot split of comma of 2 which will give us the product id from 2013 december same we can apply for 2014 january let us run this uh, two code snippets in the python console or pyspark console and then preview data from one dataset products 2014 dot take off 10 print of i now you can see the products now i can perform the union operation between these two datasets and the api is very simple all products equal to products 2013 december dot union products 2014 january and now i can copy paste this code here and then i can say for i in all products take off 10 print of i you can see the products now i can say products 2013 count which are 14729 2014 count which are 14729 now both are same 2013 december and 2014 january the count is same i think there is some issue here yeah i am using the same order items in both the cases that's why it it gave back that same number now let me paste this and also after uh, modifying this code we also have to modify this one paste and now let us see the count 2014 january count is 14666 and then all products count is 29395 when you perform union operation it will not give you the distinct records if you want to get the distinct Uh, records uh, from both the data sets after performing union operation you just have to say dot distinct typically we we have to do this so that uh, we see what all products are sold in 2013 december and 2014 january um, unique product id is provide you actually uh, insight than getting all the elements hence it is quite common to use distinct after applying union operation now you can say all products dot count and there are only 100 records you can also say for i in all products dot collect print of i and hit enter you can see the product ids which are sold in both 2013 december and 2014 january 
not the common elements but all the products which are sold in 2014 december and 2014 january this is how you can perform set operations such as union on two identical datasets